The Magic on their way to the locker room earlier tonight. Defending their home court means a lot to this team. A spectacular sight as we approach our broadcast location in downtown Orlando through the air. Hi again, we welcome you to our broadcast of the NBA playoffs here on 2K Sports. This series right now lopsided three zip. Can a comeback attempt be made? Or will we see a team advance to the finals? This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young and Herter make up the back. John Collins is out there with Clint Capella, and it's Gallinari in at the small forward. And for the Magic, Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. Mohamed Bamba is out there with Isaac, and it's Carter in at the five spot. It's going to be. off the tip here's Fultz passes it to Bamba over in the corner Isaac they get the rebound no one near Fultz as he lets it go off target from outside. Herder passes to Young. And the foul called on Terrence Ross. That is his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset and that early foul could take you right out of it. Bolts against Young. Pass to Collins. In, coming off the assist from Young. That's the guy you want to set up. Collins has brought in his arsenal. That time, getting it done with the catch and shoot. Now, here's Fultz. Pass to Ross. Pulls up on the elbow. Unable to get that one. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. And here's Gallinari outside. The main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Here's Fultz. Now the pass to Bamba. Back to Fultz. Jacks up a three. And it's John Collins with the rebound. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Orlando's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Carter dish it to Fultz. Passes it to Bamba. The Magic again can't hit. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Back to Fultz. No one near Isaac as he lets it go. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And now Bamba pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
And, and sort of known for that crazy length. Bamba's also extremely bright. Got offers from Ivy League schools, including Harvard. The Magic shooting their first free throws of the game. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Steve Clifford. Dave, what do you have to say? He told me that even though they've dominated the series, there is no room for overconfidence. He said it doesn't matter that we force their backs against the wall. They're still a dangerous team, and they're going to be do or die. We have to match their intensity and then some if we want to close this out tonight. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Fultz. Gallinari making his last shot. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Young is double. And Capella the bucket on the assist from Young. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Magic trail by eight. And here is Ross. Feeds it to Fultz. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Great vision there from Ross to find the open man. Here's Young. Ross grabs the board. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Bamba's shot is off. The Hawks leading by six. Pass to Young. Here's Capella, and the dunk by Capella. I just love Trey Young's feel for the game. Oftentimes, he can see the play develop before anyone else. Pass to Ross. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. It's stolen by Capella. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Hurt. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Lock at six. And here's Collins from outside. Rebounded by Isaac. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Trailing here by eight. They come into this game following a tremendous win on Wednesday. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively. But a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. And he's got his first chance at the line here. continues to intrigue you a 6'10 forward who, who's just got great agility and can be a nightmare in transition young no good just doing the job on the back door here's Carter Collins with some nice D the Hawks leading by five Gallinari wide open hits the three-point bomb Gallinari's got eight and you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. Orlando's gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Back to Fultz. From downtown. Rebound by the Hawks. Collins has got four rebounds in this game. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Trey Young on top, the fourth spot held by Markel Fultz. I think these two guys are having a little personal competition here in the playoffs to see who will finish with the most assists. And there's the pass to Ross. The 10 footer. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Collins. Nice play there from Terrence Ross to create something on the trip and earn his way to the line. For Orlando, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. First one falls. And both free throws good for Ross. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Young passes to going up. Kicks it out to Collins. Here's Herter. And it's sent back by Carter. Showing solid awareness on the defensive end. Carter gets a beat on that and sends it back. And how about the ground Isaac can cover? I mean, between his height and wingspan, alley oops are becoming just a way of life. Now, here's Collins. From deep, Gallinari. The shot. No good. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young big. And here's Young after Jonathan Isaac hitting the three. On deep. It's hauled in by the Magic. Trying to get his man back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. And just a great job of controlling that defensive backboard then getting out in transition. That's been the difference. Now, here is Young. Alinari outside, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. So they take the lead. Isaac's got 13 points. <laughs> just flying up and down the court. Nine straight in transition. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Orlando making some changes. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Wendell Carter. Gary Harris comes in for Terrence Ross. And Anthony subbed in for Fultz. Now, here's Okongwu. Reddish with the ball. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Using his athleticism, Reddish fights through the foul and managed to put up the shot. This is his first trip to the line tonight.
throw good from Reddish. Watching Cam Reddish, I see all-star level potential. It's going to be interesting to track his development because he's still establishing his identity. So he gets them both. On offense, here are the Magic. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. And amazing to watch Isaac when he gets going. Just demonstrates he has all the tools to become a dominant force offensively. Now here's Williams. Tries from 16. It's hauled in by the Magic. Bamba passes to Porter. Count that one. Now it's a three-point Magic lead. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Williams dishes to Hill. Passes to Hunter. The kick out to Hill. A three. Tries again. And it's sent back by Isaac. And that long wingspan of Isaac aids him there in turning away shots. But it's also the timing he displays when he attacks the shooter. Now, here's Okongwu. Following the miss by Gary Harris. Out to the wing. From past the arc. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by Williams. Reddish has got the game tied up here for the Hawks. And it's Orlando's ball. They're on a 15-5 run. Anthony finds Bamba. Now Harris, here's the three, and again it's Orlando with the three. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And just no fear, guys. I mean, he is willing to mix it up in the paint with the big boy. Reddish's shot is good. Getting into a groove. I love watching Cam rise and fire away. Well, Orlando shooting pretty efficiently out there. It is in 48% in the first quarter. Back to Anthony. Now, here's Isaac. He's guarded closely. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. So it's the Hawks now. The Magic getting the buck. Here's Hunter. Off the left rim and up. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 20-7 run. Porter kicks to Anthony. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. It's tipped. Now Reddish. He has seven. Williams, that's for two. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got his fifth rebound in this one. He feeds it to Bamba. And the shot goes in. Now it's a five-point magic lead. And the closer to the basket Bamba is, the more effective he is. Outstanding at using his size inside. Williams gets the bucket. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic. Launches a three. And again, it's the Magic from deep. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. 34 seconds left to play in the first. To the right side. Reddish. Here's Okongwu. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first free throw of the game. falls for Okongwu for the Magic. 
Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Bamba. And Bacon subbed in for Isaac. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Bogdanovich is checked in. He hits both from the strike. 24 seconds left to play here in the first. Outside, Porter. Four on the shot clock. Releases. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Jonathan Isaac, he has been the guy making things happen, guys, for Orlando. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. And here we go. Heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Finals. And guys, for the Magic, what jumps out to you so far, numbers-wise? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. The Hawks trail by three. Wendell Carter is out there with Porter. Then it's Anthony, then it's Gary Harris, and it's Bacon in at the three side. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. Here's Anthony. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Williams. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's Okongwu. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls for And so he hits both. Now here's Anthony. Carter outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. A tough physical player who doesn't mind mixing it up. Wendell with a hand one. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's good from Carter. Coming to the league ready to play. Carter is smart, he's versatile, and he's relatively polished. Williams for three. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Magic leading by four. Carter kicks to Harris. His three-pointers off the mark. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Atlanta. And Hill throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Bacon. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Clint Cavella on top, fourth, Onyeka Okongwu. 
And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. The first free throw is good. Young's check in for Williams. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Pass to Okongwu. He kicks to Bogdanovich. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. My goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. And here's Anthony for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Anthony's got the lead up to five now for Orlando. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Porter with the steal. Kicks to Harris. High post try. Orlando gets it back. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Outside Hill. Pass to Bogdanovich. Off target with his three. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Harris, good. There's always been a level of savvy to Porter's game. Beautiful pass. Atlanta calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Fultz, he's checked in for Anthony. And then for Atlanta, Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. John Collins comes in for Solomon Hill. And it's Gallinari in for Reddish. Now, here's Collins. They need this. It's good. Collins has got five now. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. And here's Fultz. Outside, Porter. Carter, the pass to Porter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. One thing about Otto Porter, he does a good job of playing to his strengths at the offensive end. The Magic have been a perfect 8-of-8 eight eight at the line. Throw good, Porter. You know, he was a late bloomer coming out of high school. Otto Porter has really worked on his body and his shot mechanics. And the Hawks making a change here. Herders checked in. And Porter drops them both. The Hawks trail by 10. Young looking it over. Sinks the triple. Young's got a second bucket tonight. It just looks like he's going in every time. Maybe because we've already seen Trey do this so many times. There's the pass to Harris. 
And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Harris has got the lead back up to 10 now for Orlando. Young dishes to Collins. Bonari with it. Now guarded by Porter. Up by Collins, no good. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. And here's Collins. After Gary Harris made that last three-pointer, Molinari passes to Collins, and the basket is good. And that's now seven points for John Collins. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. Gallinari with the rebound. The Hawks trail by 11. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. That's number two for him from long range in the quarter, his third overall. Here's Fultz. Passes it to Bacon. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Atlanta's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. And it's Gallinari missing. Magic leading by eight. Porter kicks to Fultz. Unloads from nine. Quick off the floor, has that long reach. Capella there with the intimidation. And here's Young from the arc, drops in the tray. Young's got nine points now in the quarter. Three triples for him this quarter, four overall. Outside Porter, pass to Carter. Porter against Collins. Just five to shoot. A three, and Otto Porter with a three. Porter's got seven. And they're shooting just over 50% on their three-point attempts. Easy to see how they've been able to edge out in front. And Young kicks to Gallinari. From deep three-point range, rebound by the Magic. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Here's Young shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Fearless attacking the heart of that defense. Young is willing to take punishment to get his points. The Hawks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Bamba is checked in for Carter. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Porter. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for Harris. One thing you can say about Trey Young, he leaves a huge imprint on any basketball game he plays. Isaac finds Fultz. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got rebound number five here tonight. Alinari, the open look. They get it back. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's Herter after Jonathan Isaac's bucket. Herter passes to Collins. No one covering. Collins has got nine. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Number five is Trey Young. 
and he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. Here's Bacon. Back to Bamba. Isaac trying to break free. Bamba's shot is off. The Hawks trail by six. Lenari with it. Isaac picks him up. Herter trains the three-pointer. Herter's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Fultz finds Isaac. Ross with it. To the left wing. Fires from the corner. And Bamba with the basket on the assist from Ross. Bamba's got his third bucket of the night. Fultz against Young. The shot, no good. So Orlando will take it the other way. And Capella sends it back. Yes, that goes in. And now a seven-point Orlando lead. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Here's Young. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Fultz the pass to Bacon. He kicks it to Bamba. Here's Isaac. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Cohen. How about the concentration on that? Isaac able to absorb the contact and still finish with a difficult shot. Anthony's checked in for Bacon. And a change for the Hawks. Hunter's checked in. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. The dish to Gallinari. Hires from deep. Packed in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his sixth assist on the night. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Fultz, the pass to Isaac. Fultz, looking around. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Colts has got five now. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Hunter with it. Now Anthony defending. Young passes to Collins. And the call is going to be yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Lou Williams has checked in for the Hawks. Magic leading by eight. Now Anthony. He's got six. Now here's Fultz. Puts one up from 19. Oh! oh that is just nasty. Oh, yeah. yes. 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 Guys, you got to respect the activity level of Isaac, a young mobile big who knows how to keep plays alive. And it's Gallinari missing. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Anthony's shot is off. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. And he's good on the three ball. Young's got 19 points. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now, here's Fultz. He's got five. Good defensive work there by Young. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. A nice shot by Gallinari. Following up on the miss, one thing about Gallinari, cannot question his work ethic. There's 117 left in the second quarter. Pass to Bamba. Kicks it to Ross. Shot clock at six. And really deep through that time. Ross has got five points so far. 
And, and great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. And they call an illegal screen here. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Okongwu's checked in for John Collins. Hill comes in for Gallinari. Reddish, he's checked in for Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in for Trey Young. Now here's Fultz. Ross with a wide open look. And again, it's the magic from deep. His second make from beyond the arc this quarter after hitting none in the first. Williams against Fultz. Let's the three fly. Williams can't get it to go. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Okong Wu with it. He's against Bamba. No question he got bumped on that shot. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And that one falls for Okongwu. And he makes both free throws. Magic leading by nine. Outside Anthony. The pass to Fultz. It's up a three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. And you can see Fultz has the respect of the defense already. Sometimes they have to settle for whacking him on the way up. That free throw good from Fultz. And the length and speed of Fultz makes him deadly. Excellent at shooting the ball and a super aggressive defender. Good on the second free throw. Makes all three. And so that's the end of the first half. Orlando out in front, up by 12. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Checking out the magic. This game has been a continuation of the dominance they've shown throughout the series. They've got their brooms ready, and it doesn't look like anything's going to hold off the sweep. Shaq, what's your take on Orlando? Well, the offense is depending on getting points in the paint, and they're getting those points. They're creating mismatches, being very aggressive when they get the one they want. Talk to me, Kenny. How did you think Atlanta played? Well, it's almost impossible to catch up if you keep fouling. They need to be the team getting to the foul line at a higher rate in the second half. That means driving to the basket, hitting the cutter, slicing to the basket. Anything going to the basket is your friend. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan.
And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. Here's Young. Checking out the group for Lloyd Pierce to start the second half. Young and Herter make up the back. Gallinari is out there with John Collins. And it's Capella in at the center. The more Collins hits this shot, the more valuable he becomes to this offense. Master Ross lets it go with a three. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got three assists now in this one. The Hawks trail by 12. Pass to Capella. Colinari against Isaac. Offensive rebound. And it's sent back by Isaac. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Collins wide open. He fires. Another three for Atlanta. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Kept alive. Back to Fultz. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Fultz has got 10 points. And how about the quick fire release of Fultz? It is difficult to guard. You know he's thinking about shooting as the pass is coming his way. Young's shot is off. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Orlando. And Capella over to help. And then Carter with the dunk. With the nine-foot standing reach, Carter has no trouble putting that away. Young for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Isaac. And again, it's the Magic from deep. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the deep pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. Mr. Collins. Will it go? That's good from Gallinari on the assist by Collins. Collins has got three assists tonight. Magic leading by 14. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Look at look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. I like that Collins playing under control, reading the floor. Nice setup there. Young against Fultz. The pass to Ross. Bamba with it. For three. Isaac misses. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Passes it to Young. Young is double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. Here are the Magic now. Orlando's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Fultz against Collins. Here's Isaac. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got four assists now tonight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. For the Magic, Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Bamba. And it's Gary Harris in for Terrence Ross. Young outside. Fires the three. Up again. And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got eight. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now here is Harris. 14 points for him. And the rejection by Collins. Gallinari in the corner. From outside, off the mark. 
definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. The Hawks trail by 13. On its way from Young for two. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And that's now 21 points for Trey Young. Fultz with the ball. And Young picks him up defensively. Porter passes to Carter. Six on the shot clock. It's deflected. It's stolen by Capella. And it's Dalinari missing. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Goes up on the wing. It's rebounded by Fultz. Fultz has got his fourth rebound in this one. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Collins has got it back down to within single digits for the Hawks. Keeping that play alive. Anytime a shot goes up, Collins is going to compete for it. Volch kicks to Porter. Young against Fultz. And Carter has it in the corner. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Alinari outside. And a miss there on the triple. He's going to have to wait to hit his first triple of this half. He had three at the break. Porter passes to Fultz. Back to Porter to stop the drought. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got five assists tonight. I like this strategy, getting Porter into the catch-and-shoot situation, giving him a chance to make a play. A nice shot by Gallinari. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Bacon, he's checked in for the Magic. Anthony comes in for Markel Fultz. Hunter's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Kevin Herter. And here is Anthony. Six points for him. Here is Porter. That shot off. Collins with some nice D. Bogdanovich, that's for two. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Gary Harris. The Hawks have made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Makes the first. And the Hawks making a change here. Okongwu is checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Anthony with it. to Porter. The shot's good. Known for his range and also the length at the rim, but Porter showing us he can do it in the mid-range. Now, here is Young. He's got 21. And he converts the late. And it's a 12-point magic lead. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Here's Young. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Young's got four this quarter. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Now Anthony. He has six. Pass to Porter. Harris outside. A three-pointer off the mark. 
There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Great positioning on the putback. Carter specializes in this. Competing on the glass and converting the second chance opportunity. Young is double. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And Atlanta has possession. Out left of the wing. On deep, Collins. Carter pulls it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here is Harris. He's got 14. Making the pass to Porter. Over Young. And that one's good by Porter. Porter's got nine points now. Just the second hit. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Ross is checked in for Orlando. Reddish, she's checked in for the Hawks. Williams comes in for Young. Hunter. Rebound by the Magic. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. There's Bacon. Buries it from three-point range. Bacon's got five. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Hill, he's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. Donovich dishes to Hill. The Hawks again can't hit. On offense, here are the match. They're on a 14-6 run. The three from Anthony. Knocked away. The Hawks trail by 17 to the left side wing. And the wide open shot from Reddish. That falls. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. A shot Cam can make. The D must respect his three-point shot. Back to Anthony. On the arc. But they get it back. So the wing on the left. There's Bacon. Drops one in from the wing. Seven points in the game. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Now, here's Reddish. He's got 10. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Oh! That's what I'm talking oh. about. That was nice. He almost got too much air on that one. Yeah, the man can fly. What a show. Never underestimate the creativity of these guys. They've turned dunking into an art form. And Orlando making a change here. Rombos checked in. <laughs> this hot squad is struggling. And the pass to Okongwu. Here's Reddish. It's good from long range. Reddish has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Hawks. That's a quick shot released by Cam Reddish. If you're the defense, it's hard to contest that one. Deep two from Anthony. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. The Hawks trail by 19. There's the lob to the hoop. And Okongwu slams it in. 
He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Passes it to Bamba. Back to Anthony. Beyond the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Anthony's got six in the quarter. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there be more in store. Williams looking over the floor. With one on the clock. It's off. And so it's Orlando controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. And with as many three-pointers as they drink, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. Back right after this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the floor for Orlando. The lengthy bigs inside Isaac and Bamba. Terrence Ross is out there with Anthony. And it's Bacon in at the small forward. Here's Isaac. Out to Anthony. Pass to Ross. Takes the three. Knocks down the three ball. When he gets a good look at the basket, Ross has no problem drilling a three. Hawk shooting 43% for the game. Williams passes to Okongwu. Outside Williams. On the wing hill. He's covered by Isaac. Find the shoot. Williams gets the bucket. Smooth shooting motion from distance. Williams making it look easy. Down low. Here's Bamba. Second chance shot. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused. And he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Fault, he's checked in for the Magic. Then for the Hawks. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Alinari comes in for Reddish. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Now here's Williams. Pass to Capella. Alinari down low. Here's Herter. He's guarded by Ross. Magic leading by 22. that Ross can throw it down. Nice one right there. The Hawks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Gallinari in the corner. Drills it from outside. Gallinari's got 20 points. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. The pass to Ross. Here's Bamba. Capella covering. Ross for three. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed the three. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. For three, Williams. Another three for Atlanta. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now, here's Fultz on deep. Atlanta with the rebound. Gallinari's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Orlando leading by 21. Pull up Jay. He clangs that one off the back iron and down at Fultz. Ross has got 10 points in the quarter. Fultz is not just looking to score the ball. He also is equally 
engaged in terms of facilitating for his teammates. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Here's Herder. The Magic getting the bucket. Outside Williams, Capella, and the dunk by Capella. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Because he's so good at shooting it and driving it, defenses overplay Lou, leaving other guys free. Ross passes to Bamba. There's the steal. Capella with it. Bamba picks him up. Watches the three. Herder, no good. Orlando's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. They get it again. And Fultz gets it to go. And guys, the offensive rebounding really has stood out here this half. All those second chance points are helping them maintain that lead. Now here is Hill. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. No good on that one. The Magic go the other way with it. And here's Fultz. Passes it to Ross. Offensive rebound. And the jump by Bamba. The activity from Bamba when he's playing with a high motor. Watch out. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Williams. Here's Capella. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's good from Capella. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Bruno Fernando's checked in for Hill. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Gallinari. And it's done in for Kevin Herter. No good on the second free throw. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Williams. That's good on the jump shot. And that's 11 points for Lou Williams. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Always going up for the alley-oop here. It's stolen by Capella. Hunter with it, now guarded by Ennis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Catching the defender out of position, DeAndre Hunter, he can score at all three levels. The free throw drops for Hunter. DeAndre Hunter, over three years at Virginia, was a very mature player, and he left with a championship under his belt. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Carter Williams. He'll bring up the ball for the Magic. No good. Shot missing. Done with some nice D. Williams for three. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And here comes Hampton leading the fast break. And the dunk by Bamba. Really good at getting down the floor. When Bamba is hustling, good things often happen in transition. From deep three-point range, and Bamba pulls it down. They've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. A great feed, and that assist gives him a triple-double. You, you gotta love that kind of player, able to get it done in just about every facet. So it's Atlanta now. The Magic hitting the button. 
and since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. From 10 feet out, here's Fernando. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Hampton. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Free throw is good. Reddish, she's checked in for Atlanta. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Williams. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Orlando's gotten off four three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Basket good. Bomber's got eight here in the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Dunn kicks to Reddish. Here's Ennis. Here's Carter Williams. It's good. The assist that time for Ennis. Carter Williams has got his first two points of the night. Nice decision by Michael Carter Williams as that old school floater. Hunter, the pass to Dunn. There's the feed to Bogdanovich. The Magic shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. And his misses. Hawk shooting an appalling 26% in the fourth quarter. Here's Dunn. Flying with his three. Well, Orlando shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. And the basket by Hampton. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Carter Williams with it. Pass to Okiki. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. The shot, no good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Pass to Reddish. Right wing. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. To the paint. Shot to stop the run. Look at the pass from Hunter. Wanting to get his teammates involved. And so it's Carter Williams. He'll bring up the ball for the Orlando Magic. And the pass to Ennis. There's the triple. Fernando pulls it in. The Hawks shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Bogdanovich passes to Fernando. Fades. And it's off the back rim. No good. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Passes to Bamba. And Hunter over to help. Bamba kicks to Hampton. Just five on the clock. And that one drops. Hampton's got five points now this quarter. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Good on the triple. 
getting points within the flow of the offense. DeAndre Hunter playing to his strengths and rarely forcing anything. That's New Ennis. Now, here's Bamba. Back to Ennis from outside the arc, and he gets it back. And he's able to get it back from deep. Rebound, Atlanta. And just not much more you can say, guys. It's the end of the line for one team and a hard-fought, well-deserved trip to the NBA Finals for the match. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jonathan Isaac. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Free throw drops for Hunter. And Orlando making a change here. Carter's checked in. Hill, he's checked in for Atlanta. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Carter Williams. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's the lob. The corner takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And that one's good, Hunter. A tough guy who doesn't mind mixing it up. Hunter can do a lot of damage in the paint. Hunter Williams, the pass to Okiki. Pass to Ennis. Fernando pulls it in. Done outside. gonna do it for this series they'll move on and you can see the elation on their faces not just happiness but pure excitement to be headed to the nba finals a tremendous opportunity now just four wins away from a championship yeah, yeah and, and so close i mean they can practically taste it right now but, but it's not going to be easy those next four wins are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them but no matter what happens, I think the accomplishment of winning the conference championship is something this franchise and its fans will always remember. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.